I mean, guys, there's no easy way to say this, but I tested positive for COVID. Yesterday, I woke up with some symptoms. You know, I had a headache, um, slight body aches. I felt a little nauseous too. So obviously with this whole Omicron variant that's been going around like crazy, you know, I was a little worried. So I went online and I booked a nurse to come to the house and, you know, get, get a COVID test. You can't run away. I will get back there. <laughs> okay, sir. Okay. So the blue is positive? Correct. The test is effective. Blue, it means that there is COVID in that sample. So I am COVID positive. You are COVID positive. Damn. So as you guys saw, I did test positive, unfortunately. But you know, for me, I'm young, I'm healthy. So, you know, when I tested positive, it wasn't the end of the world for me. My first main concern was my parents. You know, I live here, me and my parents live together. So the first thing I did was, you know, get my parents a uh, test. I asked the nurse if she could test my parents too. So the nurse tested my mom and my dad. And thankfully, luckily, thank God, both of them came back negative. So obviously that was some good news during a stressful day where I found out I had COVID. It. You know what's crazy with this Omicron variant is so many people I know, whether it's friends, family, like, dude, so many people have COVID right now. It's crazy. I guess my message to you guys is just be safe, be cautious, but at the same time, it feels like this Omicron COVID variant is just, it's getting everybody. I'm going to take all the necessary precautions. I'm going to stay right here. You see this room right here? I'm not leaving this room for, you know, however long I need to stay in here until I test negative a couple times. You know, I don't care how boring it gets in this room. It doesn't change the fact that, you know, I'm not going to leave this house and possibly put somebody else at risk uh, giving somebody else COVID. So I'm going to stay right here in my room. You know, I'd rather play it safe. Like I said, I'm young, I'm healthy, but there are people out there who are older or there are people out there who don't have the strongest immune system. So why would I go out and possibly put people at risk? That's not going to happen. I know some people are going to be like, oh, Brandon, you're overreacting, you know, blah, blah, blah. But no, I I'm going to take the more responsible approach. I'm going to take the more safe approach and I'm just going to quarantine in my room. The reason I'm making this video is because I don't know if I'm going to be uploading for the next couple of days. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to be leaving the house. Um, I guess if you do get an upload, it, the only thing I could do is maybe some like reaction videos. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to post some reaction videos or if you guys just want me to take a break until my COVID is clear. So, I mean, I feel like there's a stigma around, oh, if you got COVID, then you're dirty, you're careless, you're not following the rules. But... I don't know. I don't think that's true because I, I know a lot of people who have COVID right now who are vaxxed. They wear their mask when they go out. They sh Heck, some of the people I know that have COVID, they don't even leave their house, bro. They, they literally stay at home and they, they ended up getting this Omicron variant. As for the symptoms, um, let's see. So this is like day three, day two, day three of me having COVID. The symptoms I'd say so far, definitely body aches. Like I just took a shower and when the water was hitting my body, it was kind of like, it was like tingling. You know what I mean? It was like, it was not really pain, but more like, uh, I guess you could say ticklish or like, just like a little like shock. It, it was like a shock. Yeah, it was like tingling when the water was hitting my body. So the body aches are definitely there. Like when I touch my chest and my ribs, feels like I got ran over by a car. But uh, <laughs> yeah, the body aches are definitely, you know, a symptom um, a headache it's not the worst headache you know it's not like a migraine but it's definitely there so I mean slight headache I guess you could say and then another thing is you know I, I didn't really know I would feel this like this is my first time testing positive for COVID I, I never had COVID in 2020 I never had it in all of 2021 uh, up until this point this is my first time you know having COVID so something I didn't know that was a symptom up until you know, I felt it myself is that I'm very nauseous. Like, I don't know, anytime I think of eating food for the last two days, like I don't have an appetite. If I think of eating something, it just makes me want to throw up. I don't know, I'm just, I'm very nauseous. And that was, that was a symptom that I didn't know uh, you get with COVID. Maybe it's just me. I know a lot of people react differently. And then today, day three, I didn't have this symptom for the last, for, for like the beginning of my COVID, but now I kind of feel a little sore throat coming. But the first two days it wasn't, it was just like a headache, body aches, and then some nausea. I can still taste everything. I can still smell everything. My symptoms are pretty mild so far, honestly. I didn't have any sore throat, stuffy nose, runny nose, cough, 
you know, I didn't have any of that and I still don't. The only thing maybe is like a little sore throat, a little bit. Today's day three and I still don't have, I don't have a cough, I don't have a stuffy nose, I don't have a runny nose. Even the sore throat is very minor. Maybe I still haven't experienced the worst of it or maybe, maybe this is the worst of it and I'm just, you know, luckily, you know, healthy enough to not be experiencing too bad of symptoms. I don't know. For, you know what, guys? For those of you who have had COVID or, or have it currently right now, comment down below, like, uh, what symptoms should I be expecting? I know everybody's body reacts differently, but like I said, man, so far, headache, body aches, and, and nausea. Let me know what else should I be expecting. Um, I don't have a cough. I don't have a stuffy nose. I don't have, like, you know, any congestion. Like, should I be expecting that? Is that something I'm going to get in the in the later days? Like, am I going to get that day four, day five, day six? I don't know. So let me know if you have had COVID or if you have it right now. Let me know in the comment section what symptoms you guys experience because I want to know how it differs from body to body. You know what's crazy, guys? I went all of 2020, you know, when, when this COVID thing was right at its peak, when things were crazy, uh, you know, the quarantine, stay at home rules, the lockdown, you know, that crazy year of 2020 that we had. I went all year, avoided COVID, did not get it once. And then here in 2021, all of 2021, did not get COVID, did not test positive one time. Two years I was safe, two years I avoided it. And then now here we are at the end of 2021 literally the last day of 2021 and covid finally got my ass but guys you know that's gonna close out today's video you know i wasn't excited to make this video i wasn't happy to you know bring you guys the news that i have covid i feel like i had to put this video out there and let you guys know what was up with my life because if i just went mia if i just ghosted you guys you know without giving you a reason that's messed up you know you guys have done so much for me in my life that the least I could do for you guys is tell you guys the truth and tell you guys why I might not be posting for the next couple of days. Uh, oh, guys, before I close this video out. <laughs> okay, so uh, so I know this video so far, me telling you guys I have COVID. You know, you guys probably didn't laugh. Unless you hate me, then you probably did laugh. But no, nah, I'm just joking. You guys probably didn't laugh at this video. But I'm going to close this video out with something that is probably going to make you guys laugh. Um, so quick backstory, after I tested positive for COVID... You know, I ran upstairs, I ran to my room because I didn't want to infect anybody else. But like I said, I got the nurse to test my mom and dad. So my brother recorded this video of my dad getting tested. And you know, they got to shove the Q-tip, you know, all the way up your nose and my dad does not like that. So please, please watch this video of, of, of my dad getting tested. It'll put a smile on your face despite this sad video, okay? I love you guys, man. Be safe out there, be clean and, and enjoy this video of my dad getting tested. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get it inside. Uh, <laughs> you have to, you have to hold your heads up. Do you want to stand against the wall here? Uh, to keep from backing up? Yeah. <laughs> like this? No, no, no. Buzz, you're going to be nice to me, right? You're so glad. Like this? Back up. I'm going to go behind this. No, you got to go against the wall. No. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and put your heels against the wall. Your feet, your heels. Against the wall. Your body. Back up. No. <laughs> Okay. No, wrap up with your hands against the wall. There you go. There you go. Okay. Run! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're gonna pay two years. I got a four-year-old baby. I have to go over there now. No, no, you.